Hi everyone and welcome back to another iPhone video. In this video, we'll learn how to check the battery health on your iPhone. Battery health on an iPhone refers to the overall condition and performance of the device's battery. So when we check the battery health on our iPhone device, we can see how much our battery can hold a charge relative to when it was new. I'm going to show you two different ways on how you can check the battery health and make sure to stay until the end of the video so you don't make any mistakes. The easiest way that we can check our battery health is to open the settings on our device, and then we'll scroll down until you can see this battery section. Then tap on the battery health and charging. You will see this maximum capacity section, and that's your battery health. As you can see, mine is at 100% because my phone is only two months old, but yours is probably lower if you have your iPhone for a year or more. However, this doesn't give us enough information that we can work with and the numbers are not 100% accurate. If you want more detailed information about your iPhone's battery health and performance, then you want to follow my steps and I'll show you another method. You want to open your Safari web browser and then go over to google.com. In the Google search, we will type the following Power Util Shortcut iPhone and then hit search. The next step is to open a website called Power Util Battery Stats for iPhone. When the website loads, find the Add to Shortcuts option and click on it to add it to our iPhone Shortcuts app. When we add this Power Util shortcut to our phone, we then have to go over to our iPhone settings once again and then go over to the Privacy and Security section. Then scroll down until you find an option that's called Analytics and Improvements. Before we go over to the next step, you have to make sure that this Share iPhone Analytics is toggled on. If it is disabled, make sure to turn it on. This has to be enabled if we want to see the complete information and analytics for our iPhone's battery. So when you enable it, just go over to the analytics data and you're gonna see a lot of different analytics and information on this page. What we want to open is the analytics section and you want to find the current date next to the analytics text. Today's date is the 21st of December. So I'll select this analytics section right here with the 2023-12-21, and you'll get here. Tap on this share icon at the top right corner, and this sharing menu will appear. As you can see, here is our power util shortcut with a little battery icon next to it, and that is what you want to tap. I'm going to always allow this shortcut, and then wait a couple of seconds, or maybe a minute or two, until the shortcut analyzes your iPhone's battery. Once it's finished, you will see this menu with all of the different information. We can see our cycle count, the average temperature, the maximum battery capacity, and the calculated battery health. You can read what all of the information means if you want more information. For example, it says here that the maximum battery capacity is a measure of battery capacity relative to when it was new. Lower capacity may result in fewer hours of usage between charges. My cycle count is 76 cycles, which is a measure of how many times my phone's battery has been discharged from 100 to 0%. And that's how you can check your battery health and see the performance and tear on your battery. Just add the power util shortcut and you're good to go. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and subscribe to AppTutor for more similar videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.